For questions like number three, what I would often tell students is this. You take five seconds to look at this question and see if your brain tells you what your first step is and why that's your first step, okay? So now, uh, some of you might be thinking about, can we square both sides? You may, you may. Uh, if you do the square both sides, I would just give you a little advice. Just go ahead, leave it at 32 square. Just don't actually multiply 32 times 32, okay? I don't want you to come at me and say, uh, Mr. Chan, you are such a mean person. Why would you, why would, why would you uh, make us uh, do 32 times 32? I never intend to ask you to do such thing. Uh, for me, my first step is this. I can see all the numbers right here. They're all related to two. So I'm going to rewrite these numbers. I'm going to keep the square root for the moment. Okay. And I will replace the four, the eight, and the 32 with two to the uh, corresponding powers. So two squared for four, two cubed for eight, and two to the fifth power for 32. And then, then I would do the square on both sides. Because now I can easily express the uh, number on the right-hand side, which is two to the 10th power. On the left, I know my rules. So the numerator becomes two to the two X plus two power. The denominator would be two to the three X power. And, uh, and then we can combine the uh, exponents together. So on the left, I would have um, two to the negative X plus two power because you subtract the exponents. So you have negative x plus two equals to 10. So a negative x is equal to eight. So x is equal to negative eight. So again, if you figure out the first step and the second step, the rest is very straightforward. So do you know how to handle the numbers? Do you know how to handle the square roots? Okay. That would be the uh, challenge right here.